Question four was a vectors question. Um, we're given the equation of a plane. And then it says find the acute angle between that plane and a different plane. Um, so we know who we want to find the angle between two planes. We're going to need their normal vectors. So we have the normal vector for the second plane. That's the 2, 0, 3. So we're going to need the normal vector uh, for the first plane, pi. And the best way to do this, we know that these things in green, these are direction vectors or vectors which are on the plane. Um, and so we want the normal vector to the planes. That means that we need to find a vector which is perpendicular to both those green vectors. And I think that the easiest way to do this is to do the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix where you put the two vectors in your matrix like this. This is this is like this is using cross product for those of you who do FP1 or have heard of cross product. Um, and the easiest way to do that as I say is to do a 3 by 3 matrix and to do the determinant where you put i j k at the top, you put the first vector in your middle row and then your last the second vector there at the bottom row. And three by three matrix uh, determinant. So it's i times by four times one minus three times three minus j times and it's four times one take away 3 times minus 2 plus k times 4 times 3 minus 4 times minus 2. And if you work that out, that gives you 4 minus 9, so that's minus 5i. Um, 4 plus 6, 10 minus 10j and 12 plus 8, so that's 20. So the vector minus 5, minus 10, 20 is perpendicular to the first plane. I'm going to use a simpler version of that, so I'm just going to take out the minus 5. And because we're only in, really interested in the direction, not necessarily the magnitude, me taking out the minus 5 makes no difference. I'm just going to use the 1, 2, minus 4 now um, as my direction vector of the normal to the first plane. Now I want to find the angle between that normal and the yellow one that I highlighted earlier, the normal to the other plane. And in order to do that, we're going to use a dot b equals mod a mod b cos theta. So a dot b, 1, 2, minus 4, dotted with 2, 0, 3, divided by the magnitude of a, so that's the square root of 1 squared plus minus 2, sorry, it's not minus 2 squared, it's plus 2 squared, plus minus 4 squared, times by, and the magnitude of B, which is going to be 2 squared plus 0 squared plus 3 squared, and square root of that. So the dot product at the top gives you 2 plus 0 minus 12 divided by the magnitude, uh, which was 1 squared, 1 plus 4 plus, so that's 21, and 2 squared, 4 plus 9 times by 13, or 13. Um, and so if you do cos inverse, this is, remember this is equal to cos theta, because that's your a dot b divided by mod a mod b. Um, and then if you do cos inverse of that, you'll get theta as 127.2. But we know that we need to do 180 minus this because that's the angles between the two normal vectors. And we want to work out the angle between the two planes. But also like a, a hint in the question was that it was asking for the acute angle and you didn't get an acute angle. Uh, so you know for an acute angle, we have to just get something below 90. Um, so that's your part A. Now your part B, what did it say? So the point A has coordinates 9, minus 7, 20. 
and the point f is the point of intersection between um, pi and the perpendicular from a to pi. Determine the coordinates of f. So we have the coordinates of a, which were 9, minus 7, 20. So we've got our plane, we've got our point a, and then we've got the line which goes perpendicular to the plane, um, and we've got to find out where that line intersects, and that's our point F. So the equation of the line is going to be, we can use A plus lambda B, where A is a point on the line, which is A, plus lambda B, and B is the direction vector of the line. And we know the line is perpendicular to the plane, and we worked out the direction vector of something that's perpendicular to the plane, which was 1, 2, minus 4. So we're going to use 1, 2, minus 4 here. And now that's the equation of the line. And what we want to do, because we want to find the point of intersection with the plane, we're going to have to sub this into the equation of the plane. But in order to do that, we're going to need uh, the um, Cartesian equation of the plane, or we need it in the form of r dot n equals a dot n. R is your x, y, z, dotted with n, which was our normal vector, 1, 2, minus 4, is equal to a, so a point on the plane, and we were given a point on the plane, that's, let me just highlight it in blue, that's this bit, yeah, that's a point on the plane, so minus 1, 2, 1, one, two, one. Dotted with the normal vector. And so I'm going to leave it as x, y, z because I'm going to sub in for that in a second. Equals, and if minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, plus 2 times 2, which is 4, take plus 1 times minus 4, which is minus 4. And the force cancel, so you get minus one. Now I'm going to take this equation here, and I'm going to sub it into my r. So it's going to be nine plus lambda minus seven plus two lambda, and twenty minus four lambda, and that's being dotted with one two minus four, and that's equal to minus one. So when I dot this. 9 plus lambda times by 1, so 9 plus lambda, minus, two, minus 7 plus 2 lambda times by 2, so that's minus 14 plus 4 lambda, and minus 4 times by 20 is minus 80, and minus 4 times by minus 4 lambda is plus 16 lambda, and that's equal to minus 1. So I get 21 lambda, 9 minus 14 is minus 5, minus 80 is minus 85, Take that over to the other side, add 85 to minus 1, and you get 84. So you get lambda is 4. Let's sub that into my 9 plus lambda, so that gives me 13. Minus 7 plus 2 times 4, so that's 1. And 20 take away 4 times 4, which is 4. It did ask for the coordinates, so strictly speaking, you should give your answer as coordinates 13, 1, 4. And that's the coordinates of F.